Hello everyone, Brother Cyrus here. Sorry I was delayed. Today I will show you how to get the Z93 sniper rifle and climb any radio towers easily. Now this trick is easily repeatable on both north side and south side, I believe. Yeah, north yeah, north is the outer one, south is the inner one. Yeah, so you start off on the south side and in order to unlock any radio tower, this trick will work and you don't even have to do any climbing or any of that puzzle solving nonsense that they make you do because of this one itty bitty trick since each and every single radio tower is pretty much cut and paste now. To start off, we're gonna get the sniper rifle so I need you to go to this outpost that I'm highlighting right now. Once you fast travel here, make sure you do have enough ammunition and please, if you have a silent sniper rifle or the recurve bow, Bring it along. Do not use any loud weapon for this trick. You want to go to the gyrocopter and this outpost is the very first one I showed you how to liberate. It's the one that Amida sends you to unlock acting all smarty pants like. So once you open your map, I need you to scroll up. It's the one that's literally above Yuma's fortress. I need you to click on it and this will highlight it in your mini map. Once, as you can see, it's more than 3,000 meters away. So, I really need you guys to like and subscribe because next week I have a really, really special video in mind which is really close to my heart because it has to do with depression and how everyone suffers in depression, how your family suffers. And I will show you some t uh, tricks and trips. Uh, tricks and trips. <laughs> some tricks on how to overcome it or if not at least make it so it doesn't uh, get overly involved in your uh, life so you can focus on other things now i'm just going to cut it here real quick and we're back now i want you to fly straight towards the marker as you're flying towards the marker keep an eye out for any eagles because yes they will attack you in gyrocopter too it has happened to me last time I was doing this and I ended up plummeting to my death because this early on you don't have the parachute and you don't have the wingsuit which can actually help you. Now besides this, also keep an eye out underneath that there are no wrath convoys if you're playing on harder difficulties like I am or there are no escorting that's going on such as the trucks or just a general patrol because if they start shooting you this helicopter is really frail it will either explode or it will just crash. It will spin out of control and crash. Now, as you're approaching this hill, be extremely careful. Take your time. Don't rush it. Because if you rush this, what's going to end up happening is A, you're going to crash into it or B, your uh, helicopter is going to stall out and you, that B, W, W sound starts happening. It's really annoying. So what happens is now you will come close as possible land on the ground and once you land just get out of the helicopter quickly as you can be careful you don't get hit by the blades and if your helicopter goes behind slides down blows up doesn't matter ignore it keep going forward as you're heading towards the rock cliff that you see right now do be careful of any predators because there are chances you will run into wolves or even whatever the local predator is in this region. I was unlucky enough to get jumped by a couple of them last time I was here. Now, I also want to take this time to show you what ultra graphic setting on this game looks like. As you can see, the rays just break through the leaves and it looks really, really beautiful with the, I believe those are uh, Himalaya at the back. Oh, see, told you, look right there, an eagle. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm jumping around a lot. <laughs> Now, as you're approaching, make sure you crouch down. You don't want to alert anybody. So it's always a good idea to throw a, a cocktail or a Molotov cocktail, basically that shit that starts a fire. Once that happens, what happens as you can see, there's a fire going on. So if there's anybody in the house or anybody near the house, A, either they're going to get burned or B, they're going to back up. So that's going to give you the opportunity that now, the enemy you're looking for, or the ad, or NPC, if you're an RPG player, is basically just right around the corner right there. So what, what you want to do is equip your binoculars, look at the enemy, this is the guy, but make sure you don't kill him right here, because if you kill him right here, his body will slide down into the ravine below, 
And what's going to end up happening is that the gun will either despawn or it will slide down with it. And at which point you don't have a copter right now. So if you don't have a copter, what's going to end up happening is you're going to have to jump down and hope that you don't actually die, you know, and if you die, then you'll have to load from the previous point, in which case this was all the way 3000 meters back the other way. If you remember now, throw the rock close to that cliff. I just threw it at and you will have to do this one or two times, but be patient. He will move. As you will see, I had to throw it a couple of times right there. I waited. I threw it. I believe I think I throw it here one more time. Nope, I guess not. I did. Well, just simply wait. And as you see, he goes to check it out. But don't kill him here either. You want him close to the cliff as possible, because if you wait, if you shoot him too early, like I said, he slides down. There's a big gap down there, which you will see. Now, as you're approaching him, don't run even if there is no enemy up there because you don't want to alert anyone. It's a pain in the butt by the time you finish killing them. If you have a starter weapons, even if you're good, it won't matter. And he drops like two guns and chances are they will despawn by the time you finish killing them. The first one was the machine, this machine gun, which is kind of OK, I guess. And this is the weapon. And yes, I did kind of already get the gun. I just wanted to show it to you how good it was. You can literally kill a heavy with one shot with this thing. Now, as you can see, a little celebration tea bag. And now we're going to go across over there. But before that, I want to show you something else that's really cool in this area. So once I pan around, I will show you. And like I said, there's a bit of a hole there. So if you kill him early, he falls down, slides down and goes bye bye. Do be careful of the eagles. There you go. Another one just try to gank me again. Really annoying. Do you see that little rope thing over there? That's kind of a cool jumping puzzle. If you want, try it. I will show you how to get there afterwards. It's not that hard, but it is kind of hard to get the third portion of it. Now, the other thing is I've been, I know a, a lot of people have been telling me that how come you don't speak in your radio? The reason is the whole, I want you to enjoy, get immersed in the story. I don't, I don't want to talk over it. You know, I don't want to make it so it's really bloody annoying hearing somebody talk while you are trying to enjoy the story. So I always dispose of the body simple. I don't want anybody to walk down here or patrol down here and see, oh shit, dead body sound the alarm there is somebody here and start doing the nonsense while i'm trying to do something the other way you can come up here is do a little jumping puzzle and you come up here is kind of fun but at the same time this particular ad does patrol this zone so if he sees you he will literally one shot you and with armor he will probably two shot you depending on where he hits you head across now we're going to get into the same gyrocopter. Well, not the exact same one, but we're going to get into a gyrocopter. Now, if you already watched the video up to this point, thank you, but be careful. You don't stall out like I was saying, but please just stick with me here. Once you land, that's it. We get out simple walk up to the signal, boom. Like I said, unfortunately, Ubisoft used the same model for all the tower. They changed up the jumping puzzles, sure, but the underlying model is the same. The top is always going to be open. So yes, you can fly up here. I know, amazing, right? Nobody ever thought of this. <laughs> Quite frankly, I found it funny as hell that no one tried it. People tried doing all sort of things that were jumping off and then using a wingsuit to fly in and and that's all cool and all, but it's kind of pointless. As you can see, every time you liberate one, if you already haven't noticed, you get a free weapon. Some of them are good. Some of them are garbage. And like I was saying earlier, this is an annoying thing. Like you have to climb up here and which is kind of stupid and pointless, to be perfectly honest, when you have a flying machine early on in the bloody game. I mean my one pro tip to ubisoft is in the next game don't give us flying machine i know far cry 5 already has it you get like 
early on you get stuff you can do kind of kills the moment now this is a puzzle i was talking about you literally just go straight into it get off and walk up throw your hook up and just it's a climbing puzzle of a sort i don't know what's on the other end i haven't done it now please guys like share and subscribe